Are you one of the countless individuals glued to your phone, mindlessly scrolling through social media feeds? If so, you're not alone. Social media addiction is a growing concern, and breaking free from its grasp can be a real challenge. Welcome to Sir Betterment, where we bring you financial, motivating, and betterment knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about scientifically proven methods to help you prevent social media addiction. If you like videos like this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Whether you're a heavy user or just getting started, these steps will empower you to stay in control of your social media usage and maintain a healthy relationship with technology. So let's get started. Medically backed up ways to prevent addiction in social media users. Number one, set time limits for social media use. It's time to face the harsh reality. Social media can be a real time sucker, but fear not my fellow tech enthusiasts for there is a solution, setting limits. Think of it like a digital diet, just like how you limit your intake of junk food to maintain a healthy body you can limit your social media intake to maintain a healthy mind. Now, I know what you're thinking, but chat GPT, how do I do it? Well, it's simple. Start by setting a goal of 30 minutes or less of social media usage per day. And if you're already a pro at that, try reducing it even further. You can also schedule specific times or days to use social media. For example, use it only after work or on weekends. But let's be real, it's hard to keep track of time when you're scrolling through endless cat videos. That's where our trusty friend, the timer, comes in. Set it for the desired amount of time and when it goes off, it's time to put down the phone and step away from the social media black hole. And if you need an extra push, there are even apps out there that will track your usage and limit your access. Remember, moderation is key, my friends. And if all else fails, just imagine your grandmother standing behind you, watching every move you make on social media. That'll make you put down the phone real quick. Number two, avoid using social media when you're feeling down. Life can be tough and emotions can run high, but turning to social media as a form of therapy can actually make things worse. Trust us, scrolling through posts of people's perfect lives when you're feeling down is like pouring salt in the wound. So when you're feeling sad, angry, or anxious, it's best to put down the phone and find other ways to cope. Talk to a friend, take a walk, or put on your favorite tunes. Whatever it takes to boost your mood, do it. Because in the long run, it's going to be better for you and your mental health. And if you're really struggling, don't be afraid to ask for help. There's no shame in seeking professional help to deal with anxiety or depression. One treatment option that's been gaining popularity is the TDCS device. It's like a little mood-boosting machine for your brain. A study conducted by the NCBI, National Center for Biotechnology Information, has shown that it has a high success rate. So if you're struggling with your mental health, don't be afraid to explore all of your options. And just remember, social media is not the answer to life's problems. In fact, it might just be making them worse. Number three, be aware of the triggers that make you want to use social media. We all have our weaknesses. And for some of us, social media can be a real temptation. But fear not, there are ways to resist the urge to scroll endlessly through your feed. First things first, identify your triggers. Is it boredom that leads you to open up Instagram for the 50th time today? Or, Maybe it's the feeling of loneliness that makes you crave the connection of social media. Perhaps you're just procrastinating on that big project you've been putting off. Whatever it is, knowing your triggers is half the battle. Number four, find other activities to do instead of using social media. The next time you feel the urge to check your feed, try doing something else instead. Yes, we know it sounds crazy, but hear us out. If you're bored, pick up a book or take a walk. If you're feeling lonely, give a friend or family member a call. And if you're procrastinating, 
focus on the task at hand instead of endlessly scrolling through social media. By finding other activities to do, you can avoid the time-sucking vortex of social media altogether. Plus, by giving yourself credit for avoiding social media, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment that can keep you motivated to keep going. Number 5. Jogging to repair your body and mind. When you're hooked on social media, it can be easy to forget about the real world and the people in it. Plus, staring at your phone or computer for extended periods of time can take a toll on your eyesight and posture. But fear not, physical activity can help you break free from the screen and give your body a much needed workout. One great way to start is by taking up running. You don't need to be a pro athlete to hit the pavement. Just a pair of running shoes will do. Jogging three to five times a week can work wonders for your health and well-being. And the best part? Running is a social activity too. Join a local running group or participate in community events to meet new people and make some real-life friends. Even if you don't feel ready for a full marathon or half marathon, there are still plenty of shorter races you can take part in, like 5-kilometer runs. When you cross that finish line and receive your medal, you'll feel a sense of pride and accomplishment that no number of social media likes can match. Number 6. Don't compare yourself to others. Social media can be a tricky place when it comes to comparing ourselves to others. But let's face it, we only see the highlight reels of other people's lives. So comparing yourself to them is like comparing apples to oranges. It's important to remember that social media isn't always an accurate representation of reality. So the next time you feel tempted to compare yourself to someone else on social media, just remind yourself that you're seeing only a small snippet of their life and that it's not a fair comparison. Instead of wasting your time comparing yourself to others, focus on living your life to the fullest and enjoying every moment. After all, life is too short to be comparing apples to oranges. Number 7. Set Boundaries with Social Media Social media can be like a bottomless pit. There's always something new to see and someone new to follow. But sometimes, it's important to step back and set some boundaries. Think about how much time you want to spend on social media each day, or which days of the week you want to allow yourself to indulge in it. You could also set limits on how you follow and what kind of content you see. If someone's posts regularly bring you down, why not unfollow them? By setting these boundaries, you can take control of your social media use instead of letting it control you. And when you stick to those boundaries, don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back. You're making progress. Remember, social media should be a tool to enhance your life, not take over it. So set those boundaries and take back control. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful in managing your social media use. Now I have a question for you. What is your favorite activity to do instead of using social media? Share your answer in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want more great content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.